Okay, and? And you will make photos? And to do what? When I was watching all the time movies, I'm going to a video store, renting videotapes. And I was always imagining uh, me making uh, some kind of movie, some story that I like, or uh, I was reading comic books as well. And then uh, always uh, in my head, those comic books were actually movies, you know. So when I, uh, when the moment came to decide what to do in my life, I said, well, I want to make movies. Well, I decided to make horror movies because First of all, I love the genre, so I am watching horror movies all the time. And I cannot say it's my favorite genre. My favorite genre is action movies, but horror movies I really enjoy and love, and I love to be scared. And I think through those kind of movies, you can say much more in a, in, not in a direct way, you know, not to bother the audience. I mean, somebody who will uh, see something more will see it. And uh, people who just came to have fun, it's, it's fine by me, you know. My first film was like Apocalypse and Fight uh, against Death, you know. And, uh, and this one has those elements as well, but uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't really go that far. The thing is, uh, students in film academies, they do make horror films, but then when they start making their professional works, uh, they kind of uh, forget about it because they have to apply for uh, public funds, they have to uh, explain themselves to other, uh, you know, like the artists, the directors, and so on. And I think in the in those uh, transition between uh, studying film and making professional film, they kind of lose the the initial uh, thing, the initial desire, what brought them to movies, and that's just having fun. For example, Nymph, I watched the movie like 30 or 40 times and I'm still not bored with the movie and imagine I made some drama with two people driving bicycles or something like that you know I mean probably after a second time I wouldn't be able to stand that movie anymore and when I start uh, conceiving the story and everything I just think uh, how I'm going to feel like a member of audience and how audience is going to feel what is going to be entertaining what is going to be scary and, and stuff like that what the hell was that thing an ancient, forgotten creature of the sea. A monster that must die. She's here. I mean, American movies are the most popular in the world. And then uh, people in uh, other countries will watch those movies and then they will learn something maybe about that country. And then maybe they will watch some serious movie that will tell more about some problems of that country or whatever. I mean, I try to put some... Uh, some uh, parts of uh, Yugoslavian and Serbian history in it just to make it a little bit more uh, special, but in the end, yeah, it's a, it's a universal story and uh, actually uh, in most countries it is uh, uh, promoted as American movie.